Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic, thank you for asking. Welcome to Kate's Kitchen. I was supposed to film this earlier, however, uh, I had to make my D&D &D character, and that took a little bit longer than I thought it would. It took like two hours, um, because I don't really ever played D&D &D before, and so this is all new. I'm eating dinner now. So, but the good news is, this is very healthy for you. I feel like a lot of you can make it, because it's a very simple salad. And I know, salad, ew, okay. I know, but trust me, listen, this is good, okay? You're gonna need spinach, and strawberries, and mozzarella, and avocado, and I get rotisserie chicken because it's just easy to shred. Um, you're gonna have one boiled egg. You're gonna have a, li a little bit of sesame seeds, and then you're gonna have um, vinaigrette. I get balsam balsamic vinaigrette. I also have this one, but I like this one. We're gonna use this one. I have, ooh, I have um, seven strawberries. I put my spinach in a bowl, and now I'm going to chop up the strawberries and put it into said bowl. So I like to chop up the strawberries um, small enough to be bite-sized. Um, but big enough to be able to have straw. So I cut it into like four halves like this. And then I just stick it in on the sides. Presentation looks glorious in this, mind you. We have this. And now I'm going to add the chicken. But I like the rotisserie chicken because you can just kind of, I just like kind of reach in and pinch off the pieces of chicken that I want. Um, whether it's from like the thigh or the leg or the, and that's kind of the same thing. Um, the drumstick, I just kind of, also peel off the skin. I like eating the skin, um, but in the salad it doesn't taste <laughs> right. Um, may, that may be just like a Kate thing, but this is like, I try to do like not too much chicken, but enough chicken to where it's not just like you're eating spinach and that's it. You want to get a little bit of protein in there. So we have the chicken in and now, I'm gonna get my giant thing of mozzarella. Now I'm gonna, so you wanna get something like this where it's just a big chunk. There is one that's like softer mozzarella that um is cut beforehand. This one is just, <laughs> this one is just, you gotta like tear it, right? So you gotta grab it and you gotta get, get some of that mozzarella. You gotta grab it and then um, I just kinda, that's a big piece, but I, I try to like not shred it per se, but um, pretty much shred it a little bit. It's a little bit easier with the other one. Um, I got this one because it was the only one I could really find. It's still good. Delicious cheese. So now that we have our sprinkled cheese everywhere, we have to cut open the avocado. Okay, nice, good avocado. And also too, if you don't like avocado, you can omit the avocado. I just really like avocado. So I chopped it up into like lots of little pieces. So that way, um, like I said, like it's not overwhelming. They're just gonna be Lots of little pieces of avocado everywhere. I also only do one half, um, cause I like saving the other half for later. And then we have our boiled egg. I'm gonna go run this under the water so that way it shells easier. I've just recently started doing this. So I'm gonna cut like a little bit here, right? But I'm gonna try to hold the egg together so that way I get like decent cuts through it and it stays t together. Okay, nice. So the egg is, is cut and then I'm going to place it on one side like this and I'm gonna kind of spread them out a little bit to make it look a little bit, maybe don't use a butter knife. <laughs> maybe use like a sharp knife. I don't really have sharp knives, but we just pretend, okay. That looks good. I'm gonna wash my hands. Okie dokie. And then we're gonna get a little bit of sesame seeds. I don't really like them a whole lot, but like a little bit, not too shabby. And that's how you make one of my favorite salads. You're welcome. I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Um, I hope you try the salad. It's really good, really delicious. Also very easy, cause like the chicken was already made and honestly boiling eggs, uh, Google it, it's okay. You got it, I believe in you, anyway. I hope you enjoy the salad. I'll see you next time on Kate's Kitchen. Okay, bye. In case you're wondering what this looks like or how much I'm putting on here, um, I kind of douse it. It kind of goes like, it sinks in underneath um, because there's you have to remember there's a lot of spinach underneath that. So when you're um, shuffling through all the food, you want it pretty much coated. And when I pour that, like it's pretty much coated thoroughly. But like, look at it, it's so good. It looks so good. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna go eat. Just kidding, I forgot something. It requires slivered almonds, but 
That is my quantity of <laughs> slivered almonds. It's it's quite sad, but I'm gonna put it on anyway. But also, yes, this is this is why I write things down. This is why I have you know specific directions instead of just winging it. There's I can literally count how many are in here. There's like eight. Still gonna do it though. 